This year, my group researched and presented on women's global in access to education uh, for our two speeches. Uh, when we had our group meeting to choose a topic, uh, I made it known that I didn't have strong opinions on what topic was chosen. Uh, I didn't really have any social justice issues that I was passionate about, and I figured that somebody else in the group would have a topic that they were invested in. Uh, my goal was to learn something new uh, and maybe get a fresh perspective on issues that I had never considered in depth before. Uh, you'd be hard pressed to find uh, a discriminated against minority that I am a member of. So I figured getting insight from people who had different experiences from me would be a valuable experience. Uh, my group consisted of me and four women. Uh, so social justice for women naturally came up as a proposed area for our topic. Uh, and while I was aware of some of the more obvious displays of discriminatory behavior and legislation here in America, when our topic was chosen to be on a global scale, I realized that I sort of separate those two arenas of issues in my mind. Uh, while I was aware of women uh, being discriminated against within the bounds of our country, uh, and I was also aware of the problems surrounding global education, uh, the, the intersection of the two was something that I had failed to consider. Uh, in the course of our research, I, I was confronted with everything I didn't know. Uh, half of our subtopics were areas that I was either uninformed or misinformed about. So when the speech came together and we were practicing presenting it, I found myself a bit starstruck at some of the quotes and analyses. Uh, I was assigned family roles as a limiting factor, uh, and that was something I knew a fair bit about. Uh, through media and a, a basic understanding of why some of these issues can come to light, I, I was exposed to this idea prior. With the full group coming together, though, it became pretty clear that what I knew was just a very small piece of this puzzle. Uh, I think that going through this culture shock and being exposed to just a, a whole bunch of information that I had never, that had never entered my mind before uh, was what I expected from college, uh, but I certainly wasn't ready for the, the full brunt of it immediately. Uh, first semester. Um, I'm a STEM major, biophysical chemistry specifically, but I live in the arts learning community uh, in Wayland Hall. Uh, between living with people who are in a vastly different program of study from me uh, and getting on a perspective of exactly how much I don't know from, from this class, uh, I'm really appreciating the exposure to fresh perspectives and, and new outlooks on ideas. Uh, the idea of interdisciplinarity is something that I find would be hard to put into practice, uh, but my, my experiences here so far at JMU have completely refocused my mind on searching for that diversity uh, and looking for other people's outlook on problems we might be solving. This shift in mentality has really cemented for me the, the college experience and the merit of coming together as scholars. Uh, this is really the epitome of what higher education means uh, and what I think it should mean to everybody. 